Inflation is the sustained increase in the general prices level over a period of time. This will cause a fall in the purchasing power of the people in the country. We shall be studying two types of inflation. Their cost push and demand pull inflation. Demand pull inflation occurs when aggregate demand increases from AD to AD1 rising along the curved portion of the aggregate supply or AS and the price level increase from P to P1. As resources begin to get used up, firms are in greater competition with each other for the use of them. Increases in aggregate demand will therefore increase the price level but also increase output. Increased aggregate demand does not always cause inflation. If the economy is producing low levels of output and has lots of spare capacity, there may be no impact for the price level, while output increases from Y0 to Y1 as seen in the diagram. If the economy is at full capacity, an increase in aggregate demand will only cause an increase in the price level from P1 to P2 giving rise to very high increase in the general price level and thus inflation. No extra output can be achieved. Cost push inflation occurs when the price level is pushed up by increases in the costs of production owing to the increase in the use of factors of production in land, labor and capital. Firms will increase their prices to maintain their profit margins. This is represented by a shift of the AS curve upwards causing the price level to increase from P0 to P1. Inflation can harm an economy. 1. The value of money decreases. In the case of hyperinflation, the value of money decreases so severely and people may lose confidence in the currency and money will lose its function as a store of value or as a means to facilitate exchange in goods and services. 2. Redistributes income. Workers with strong bargaining power may be able to negotiate wage increase while those with few skills may be unable to get pay rises. Borrowers pay back less in real terms than what they borrowed. High income earners can take steps to avoid the effects of inflation. 3. Shoe leather costs. These are costs involved with moving money between financial institutions searching for interest rates above inflation rates. 4. Decreases business confidence. Fluctuating inflation rates affect firms' confidence about the future. This affects investment decisions and may stagnate long-run economic growth. 5. May harm the balance of payments position. If a country has high levels of inflation, their exports will be expensive. This makes them less competitive and sales overseas will decrease. As imports are cheaper, consumers will want to buy more imports. Beneficial effects of inflation 1. May encourage firms to expand and invest more, employing more people. A low, stable level of demand pull inflation makes firms optimistic about future sales. 2. Can prevent unemployment. Workers may accept a percentage increase in their wages less than the percentage increase in the price level. This will ensure firms maintain profit margins and keep employees. Price index. Price indices are used to show the change in the general price level over time. The degree of change of the price level or price index gives us an idea of how the price of goods and services has changed over time. To assist us in this measure, we use the Consumer Price Index CPI. Consumer Price Index is a measure of price inflation affecting consumers. It is calculated from the movement in the average price of a basket of goods and services purchased by the typical household in a country from a sample of different retail outlets. 
Results. Construction of the Consumer Price Index. 1. Select a base year dash this is a standard year with no dramatic changes in price. The base year is always allocated a value of 100. 2. Find out how households spend their money. This is done by a government-administered family expenditure survey. Certain goods and services are selected to make up the basket. Weights are allocated to reflect the proportion of income spent on each good or service. 3. Find out price changes. This is done by government officials gathering information from firms. Government then creates estimates of price changes based on this information. The following slide shows how price index and the rate of inflation is calculated.